course, with the Royals in town, all eyes have been on green energy. Uh, tonight, in an I-Team follow-up on our series of investigations about the Mass Save program. Remember, this was created to benefit consumers, really reduce dependency on fossil fuel. But as the I-Team uncovered, Mass Save has just been mired in consumer complaints for years. And now a new report is raising questions about the future of the program. WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka has the details. All the oil burning equipment is gone to be replaced by this very compact compressor here that does the heat pump work. John Briggs spent $57,000 on a geothermal heat pump system at his Lexington home. We've got solar electric panels, we have solar hot water panels, we have two electric cars. So we've, we've put a lot of uh, effort into this to try to, to decarbonize and get ourselves off of oil. Committed to getting away from fossil fuel, John researched heat pumps and knew with federal and mass save rebate programs, he would recoup some of the money he spent. Between the mass save rebate at $15,000 and the federal uh, support of the tax credit at 26% should be another $15,000. So out of pocket, I should have been about $27,000. Getting the federal money was easy, but MassSave refused to give him the rebate, claiming his 2006 weatherization certification was too old. And non-compliant means you don't get the $15,000. You don't get the $15,000. I was pretty pissed off. $15,000 is not, not small change. John isn't the only one frustrated by MassSave. Last December, the I-Team told you about other homeowners who waited months before finally getting the money they were owed. It ended up being just complete chaos and disorganization. At that time, Mass Save said it was rolling out a new customer-friendly program in January. But nearly a year later, consumers are still complaining. I've complied with the spirit of what you're looking for. I've, I've insulated and I added geothermal. I'm doing exactly what you hoped I would do, but you have structured it in a way that says, no, you don't, you don't deserve anything. Mass Save is a program run by the utility companies, and the money to fund the rebates comes from a delivery charge that all of us pay on our gas and electric bill. Just this week, the Clean Heat Commission released a report calling for wholesale changes to the program. A really encouraging sign that we may actually wind up with a very consumer-friendly and helpful um, state agency or body. This is not a generous thing from the power companies. We pay into this. This is a public trust. And I feel like they violated that public trust. After the I-Team got involved, John received his $15,000 rebate. We reached out to the utility companies who tell us they will work with the state on any program changes. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.